Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yes, I'm, be, I'm going to be talking about what is inside a black hole. You've heard a lot about black holes, but it's the parts of black holes that we, we can see and that we, that we know about. Um, but the, I'll be talking about the inside of black holes, um, what the issues are, and, and what is this black hole firewall business. Uh, so first, uh, a short outline. Uh, I'll say a few words about the um, the laws of physics, uh, the, the big questions, uh, then focusing a bit more on issues with, um, uh, with black holes, and finally, uh, the question, the paradox, this, this firewall. So um, there are two great laws of physics, uh, general relativity and, um, and quantum mechanics. And these are fantastic theories. They've each been around for about 100 years. They've each made countless predict number of predictions. Uh, they really govern uh, the world in which we live and, and understand and the, the universe in which we live and which we understand. Um, it comes from these, the, these two theories. Um, the interesting thing is that most of the time you only talk about one theory or the other. And you can kind of see why from the picture. General relativity generally uh, addresses the very large Quantum mechanics generally addresses the very small, and you have to get to rather extreme situations um, before um, you, you, you deal with both at the same time. So here are some, ex here are some extreme uh, situations. Um, one is uh, collisions between particles at extremely high energies, far above the, the energies, oops, that's both, ah, there we go, far above uh, the energies uh, in the LHC, far above the energies of the Higgs boson. You would, you would, you would, these two theories would, would interact with each other. Uh, also, the extremely early universe, uh, early moments in the Big Bang, even smaller than we, we've been able to reach today. And, and, and then black holes, the, the, the paradoxical bit that I'll be talking about. So, so, um, so these are three area, th these are three regimes, extreme regimes. None of these are accessible to experiment today. The very high energy, the very early, uh, the very, in oh, the very uh, interior moments. None of these are accessible to us uh, directly. Um, but but we know that if we we can take the theories that we do have and extrapolate to these areas and ask, do the theories that we have agree? And the interesting thing is that sometimes, sometimes the existing theories, these two theories I talked about, don't agree. And that makes it interesting as a paradox. And paradox is what often drives us forward, especially in this subject, because this is happening in such remote re re regimes where we don't have experimental uh, study of, of, of what happens here. Uh, we're very dependent on, on theory. And fortunately, theory is very effective it's very effective because we know a lot about general relativity. We know a lot about quantum mechanics. And so we can, we can take these two things that we understand and try to figure out how to put them together. Now, um, so that, that was the first bit, the, um, the, the, the laws of physics and our goal of understanding how to make them fit together. Here now is the black hole. So this is, this is a picture of a, ah, this is a picture of a black hole. Uh, one picture of a black hole, it kind of is a three-dimensional slice. It shows uh, curvature of space, that's, that's, that's um, general relativity. And when the curvature gets very, very large, goes to infinity, that's the core of the black hole. But before you get to the core, there's the horizon. The point of the horizon is that the, the curvature is so strong that once you pass it, it's still finite, but you can never get out. You're doomed to hit the singularity. So that's one picture. Here's a different picture, which is more, um, a bit more elaborate. I won't try to describe it, because I don't think I've taken that much time. Somebody's cheating. But um, 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 anyway, this is a more elaborate picture of the black hole, which shows both space and time. It shows the black hole forming. It shows the black hole disappearing, um, which I'll tell you a bit about in a second. And then it, it shows the same picture as before, uh, but in, in, a, in a somewhat more, more well, anyway. So, 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 um, 
the, the, um, Okay, so 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 sorry. This, this, so so this, this this is the basic classical black hole. Um, now, something very interesting happens when we combine this uh, with quantum mechanics, and so that's the next step. So here's a toy model of quantum mechanics. It shows a pair of partic ah. it shows a pair of particles uh, disappearing from the vacuum and d appearing and disappearing from the vacuum and doing that over and over again, and, and this is kind of a cartoon of of um, how quantum mechanics works, that, that, that there are these little jitters in the vacuum, and you can see their effects on, on matter, and, and um, okay. And again, normally these uh, appear as two particles appearing and then disappearing. Um, but if this happens, this process happens near a black hole, and this is the black hole I was drawing a little while ago, um, you see that it can happen, if it, it, it happens, but if it happens near this black hole horizon, this point of no return, what can happen is one of the particles can become trapped inside the black hole and the other can escape. And the one that escapes can carry information away. And so the black hole, which we normally think of as only becoming heavier and heavier and heavier, um, can also uh, lose energy uh, in this way, and in fact, this can happen once, um, but if it can happen once, it can happen again and again and again. And so what could happen with a black hole is that um, it, 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 it releases energy a little bit at a time until at the end, at the end of, of the process, the black hole is gone and we're back here to flat space with just particles moving around. This is known as Hawking radiation. Now, none of this that I'm talking about um, has been seen in the in the experiments that, we, that, you, that were talked about, simply because it's a very, small, very subtle and slow process. It's something that could be done in principle. All of these things I'm talking about could be done in principle, but because they're so difficult to do, this becomes a theoretical question. Okay, so, the, but so far, so good. So far, it's working. The, the quantum mechanics and general relativity are working together. They do have this interesting property that black holes can evaporate. But now, now we get to a new paradox. And the paradox is known as information loss. Um, so here is the same, the same picture as before, but now I'm imagining that I throw in uh, some additional information uh, as the black hole uh, forms in this and, and evaporates. In this case, it's um, a copy of Stephen Hawking's book, but it could have been anything. But the thing about black holes is, once the, once, once the book falls behind the horizon, it's trapped. We can no longer see, we can no longer see what's inside. And so, when the black hole evaporates, when the black hole evaporates, um, the, it, 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 you, can't, you cannot figure out what was thrown in. It, it, all information about that um, ha, has been erased. And, and so, um, and, and so the, 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 the consequence here, the, this, this, the, the, the side effect of this Hawking radiation is that information is lost. Information being lost means that you, you, can form, you, you, you have different ways of making the black hole, and yet they all lead to the same, exact same, exact same quantum theory of the black hole. And, and that quantum mechanics doesn't allow this. This is a contradiction. And, and the fact that, that, you can't, that you can't reproduce from what you see, what you threw in, is known as information loss. And, and it, it may not be obvious, you know, I, I may not have made it clear why this bothers us so much, but in terms of the basic laws of, 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 of you know, of, of the, as we understand them, this can't happen. And um, if it does happen, it, 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 it's a large change in those laws, which will probably have a lot of bad effects. And so the question is, how do we avoid this loss of information from this Hawking effect? It seems that we're left with two possibilities. Either information is, either information is lost um, in this way, or somehow information has to travel faster than the speed of light, because um, the idea here is that the horizon 
uh, nothing can travel fast outside, not even light. To get from here inside to here outside, you would have to travel faster than the speed of light. And so um, what, what, comes out of what comes out of the laws as we understand them, in, these ver in, in, this, in this experiment, that thought experiment, which we could do if we had enough energy and enough time, uh, we would find seemingly a, a contradiction between these two central laws of physics, uh, quantum mechanics and, um, and, and um, the basically going this, this, the speed of light. So, so this was actually 40 years ago. About 20 years ago, um, we made some progress. Juan Maldacena made some progress, which convinced us all that information is not lost. Um, but I told you that we had, this that we had the, the alternative, information not being lost means somehow traveling faster than the speed of light to get the information out. And, and there was a notion of, of, of complementarity that maybe things could travel faster than light, but we can't see them. Or rather, one person can't see enough of what happens to, get a, uh, to see a contradiction. And what's happened in the last few years with this, with this black hole firewall um, is that we, we, we've, th we've seen that we, we, there is a contradiction. Now, now, this is far more than I can show you in the time given, but this, this, this is... Um, this is sort of an, this is this is again the more the more technical uh, description of the black hole um, there, and this is what I've described here is the possible quantum histories, the possible states. This is a little toy model that has just three particles: one inside the black hole, one outside the black hole, and one far away from the black hole. And this is a little toy model which shows you, with calculation that I won't go through that um, you really have to decide. Either information is lost, that's one of the alternatives, or if information is not lost, then as you fall into the black hole, um, where Einstein's theory says you'd be traveling in a, in a smooth area of space, in fact, you encounter uh, energy which, which goes faster and faster at the, at, at the horizon, long before the singularity here, uh, you encounter this high energy state that we call a firewall. So, 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 so w again, the, the, the issue at hand is that there should be a simple and, and unique and sensible law of nature, and we can't fit these two pieces together. And right now, where we can't fit the, the two pieces together is at the black hole horizon, the two laws say different things, and neither of them uh, say, are re give, you know, give a really appealing picture of what does happen. In fact, um, so this was about five years ago. Uh, I recently made a list of sort of just the ideas for what might be happening at the, at the horizon of the black hole. Is it this wall of fire or some other change in the shape of space? Or, or is it some modification of quantum mechanics? And, and without really trying, I came up with 11 possible ideas of things people, had, people were proposing, were, were trying to make work um, uh, uh, to, to, make, to make these theories fit together, and we don't know. We don't know. Um, it's, it's, it's really interesting that in this subject, where we understand so much about these things, if you, when we push it a little further, when we push it to the question, what happens behind the horizon? Uh, um, well, here. Again, uh, smart people have come up with 11 possible answers for what that question is. And, and there must be one which is right. Um, so, so in my last minute, I guess, uh, what, you know, how do we address this question? Um, and, and there's sort of, I think of two ways of, a, of, a, of, a, of attacking a question like this. Um, one is we have to understand as well as possible what the problem is. And, that's, and, and if we understood it really well, we would figure out the answer, and this is sort of, idea number one. Um, and the second is um, that we really need something new, that there is something missing in our, in our, in our um, understanding of space. And so, um, without just very briefly, um, the, the, the sort of conventional sort of idea which may be right is understanding better the notion of um, basically what the limit of, what, what, what the speed of light imposes on our ability to send information. We understand this for particles, um, 
But what does it say for things like strings, which we now think are at the center uh, of these questions? Uh, so that's one possible, possible um, direction. The second direction is, uh, well, so, so um, very interestingly right now, um, quantum mechanics has come back in, in a number of different ways. Uh, the attempts to build a quantum computer, um, att attempts to understand the butterfly effect, uh, quantum entanglement. Quantum mechanics has, has undergo is undergoing a renaissance, and it may be that there is some deep new principle there that will solve this paradox uh, that I was describing. So we don't know. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing having uh, so many ideas and no, idea, no, you know, no clue as to which one is right. Um, but but that's, this, 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 this is making life very interesting right now. So thank you. Some questions. I, may, I might just ask, oh, this one here, please. Do we have any specific feeling that we, which direction is most promising? So, um, so I, I gave 11 possible ideas, and again, for each of the 11, there are people who are strong adherents of one of them or the other. Um, I tend to be an agnostic. That is, uh, in, in everything, I, 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 you know, I think about, you know, what do we know? What can we rule out? And um, I don't see that any of these can be ruled out. I don't see that any of these can be, can be given stronger evidence. In fact, um, I, tend to be a well, I tend to be a conservative. The most conservative thing really is that if you follow the laws as we know them as far as we can, then at the black hole horizon, we encounter this wall of energy, this firewall. And it seems crazy. It's contrary to everything that we've understood about the black hole in the past. But that is, that is still the most conservative, I think, um, um, alt, you know, a picture for what is happening. Thank you. Okay, what's one more? Yes. Uh, is, is, it, is, it, is it right that time has stopped at the singularity? And if time has stopped there, how does the singularity disappear? Um, I wouldn't say time has stopped. Well, so, well, first of all, talking about time at the singularity is, is um, you can't do it now because it, it pushes our understanding of the theory beyond, beyond where it goes. Things are, it, it's just the size of things is too small. I thought you might have asked this about the horizon because the horizon, uh, you, you, this, 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 this question is meaningful. And the point is that, that what do you mean by the speed of light depends on in, 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 in general relativity, it, it depends on your frame of reference. And so if we went a few slides back, I could show you a frame of reference where one observer would say time has stopped, while another observer would say, no, it has gone right through. And a lot of the, a lot of the, the seeming, so there are non part, there are thing, parts of, quantum, of, of relativity that seem paradoxical and are not, but they just come from the fact that there are different frames of reference. Uh, I think the paradox that I was uh, expressing is, is more than that. There is no you know, consistent picture right now. 